Hi everyone, here is Vanessa with the latest Azeng News. Malaysia calls off search for last missing diver. Malaysian authorities called off a search for a teenager diver, Nathan Renzi Chesters, who went missing along with three others this week. Chesters was reported missing on afternoon, about an hour into the training dive, with his British father, Adrian Peter Chesters. Chester's father and Molina were spotted and saved by fishermen of Indonesia's Bintan Island, some hundred kilometers south of where the group disappeared, Grodham had been rescued. Mersin District Police Chief Cyril Edward Nguyen said Indonesian authorities will take over the search for Chester's, although Malaysian authorities would be on standby to help. China honor units and individuals for contribution to Beijing Olympic and Paralympic Winter Games. Chinese authorities honored 148 units and 148 individuals, including one awarded posthumously for their outstanding contributions to the Beijing 2022 Olympic Winter Games and the Beijing 2022 Paralympic Winter Games. Chinese President Xi Jinping, also General Secretary of the Communist Party of China Central Committee, Chairman of the Central Military Commission, and other Chinese leaders conferred awards on the representative of the Great Hall of the People in Beijing, and she also delivered a speech at the gathering. The 2022 Winter Olympics were held between February 4 and 20 across three competition zones in downtown Beijing, the city's northwestern suburban district of Yanqing and Zhangjiakou of the neighboring Hebei province, while the Paralympic Games followed from March 4 to 13. The host nation dispatched a 388-member contingent, including 177 athletes, marking its largest ever presence in the Winter Games. China also delivered its best ever Winter Olympic performance, with a total haul of 15 medals, including 9 golds. China dominated the Beijing Paralympics with a haul of 61 medals, including 18 golds. Drone footage shows landslide after met in wake of tropical storm. Drone footage showed landslides burying vegetation and other structures in Philippine Leyte province as a result caused by Tropical Storm Megi as it hit the eastern and southern coast of the Southeast Asian country. Philippine authorities said at least 25 people had died in landslides and floods caused by the tropical storm, which made landfall with sustained winds of up to 65 km or 40 miles per hour and gusts of up to 80 km per hour or 49 miles per hour. Reporters said in the eastern province of Leyte, the bodies of 22 people were recovered after being buried under a landslide, said Jomen Colado, police chief of Bay Bay City. The National Disaster Agency, which has also said three people had died in the southern Davao region and their reported casualties are still subject to verification. John Lee formally submits application for Hong Kong's leadership race. John Lee, Hong Kong's outgoing deputy leader, filed his candidacy for the May leadership election. The former chief secretary said that he has received support from the 786 of the election committee's 1,500 members, far exceeding the 188 nominations required to run, and he is the first person to announce his intention to run. Lee resigned last week ahead of his bid to replace outgoing chief executive Kerry Lam, whose five-year terms ends on June. Lam oversaw one of the most tumultuous periods in the Hong Kong history with pro-democracy demonstrations and coronavirus.
Lee, a former career police officer, is widely expected to prioritize security issues if he gets the top job, having previously urged new legislation to fully implement a sweeping national security law Beijing imposed on the city in 2022. He has also warned about lingering underground terrorists and independence movements. Thousands evacuated in central Philippines as storm may trigger flash floods. Thousands of residents were evacuated in central Philippines after flash floods and landslides triggered by Tropical Storm Maggie inundated several towns and killed at least 25 people. Footage and images from the Philippine Coast Guard showed residents being evacuated from their homes after heavy overnight rains pummeled the eastern Visayas region turning roads into rivers with some water levels reaching chest high. Nearly 140,000 people were affected by the storm, with about 17,000 staying at evacuation centers, according to a report by the National Disaster Agency. The State Weather Bureau said the storm made landfall with sustained wind speeds 40 miles per hour and gusts of up to 80 km per hour or 49 miles per hour. Maggie has weakened and is expected to move back out over sea. To expand sanctions, Japan banned coal from Russia. Japan, the world's third largest coal importer, said it will ban coal imports from Russia and impose a wide range of additional sanctions, including freezing the assets of two major banks and broadening sanctions against individuals. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida made the announcement, which follows similar steps taken by United States and European Union nations at a news conference shortly after Japan announced it was expelling eight Russian diplomats and trade officials. Japan will coordinate its moves with the United States and European countries after the group of seven G7 allies issued a statement pledging additional sanctions on Russia in response to its alleged mass killings of civilians in Ukraine. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which Moscow calls a special operation, Japan has stepped up sanctions ranging from removing Moscow from international payment network SWIFT to freezing central bank assets. Well, that's the end for today, and thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a lovely weekend.